Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. Is that your phone? Yes, it's my new business phone. Do you like it? It's very impressive. Can you use the internet on your phone? Yes, it's got wireless internet access. That's really convenient. Does it have the Bluetooth? Yes, but I don't really use it that often. Have you ever used it? No, but I think it'd be really great for people like you who are always on the go. Yes, I guess I should try to use it. Does it have a camera? Of course it does. Doesn't every new phone include a camera these days? I guess so. Would you mind if I checked my email quickly? I'm supposed to be getting an important email this evening from a client. Sure. Here you go. Have you checked your voicemail recently? No. Why? I think this icon means that you have a voicemail message. Oh, yeah, probably. I don't really know how to use this phone yet. Do you want to listen to your messages first? No, it's okay. Check your email first. I'll check my unbox later. I'm surprised you don't use more of the features on your phone. I'm surprised you know so much about it. Where's your phone? It quit working last week and I haven't had a chance to buy a new one yet. How have you been living without a cell phone for a week? Hasn't it been driving you carry being without a phone? It's not that bad. It kind of feels like I'm on vacation, not having to answer my phone all the time. Let's go shopping. You can't depend on public phones in this day and age. Is this your umbrella, miss? Oh, yes, it is. Thank you. I was looking for it just now. You look a bit familiar to me. I wonder if I have seen you somewhere before. Have you? May I ask where you live? Just two blocks away, in that tall building. That's it. I live there, too. I live on the sixth floor. My family moved in just two weeks ago. We live on the fourth floor. It's a small world. May I know your name, miss? I'm Chen Ming. How do you do, Miss Chen? I'm Song Mei. I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Song. Are you going to your office now, Miss Chen? No, I'm going to the airport to meet some friends from Beijing. Have you ever been to Xi'an? Yes, I've been there several times on business trips. But I have never really seen the Terracotta Warriors as it is outside the city. I've heard many people saying that it is a place worth touring. I really want to see the old walls and terracotta warriors one day. Of course I won't miss the local food either. You know, the site's interests of food and scenery, food is a key factor when visiting a place. I agree. As long as the food is not too bizarre once I saw some people eating insects. That is frightening. Sure it is. Is it convenient to get there by plane? Well, the airport is quite far from the downtown area, but it is still more convenient than taking the train. Who's your favorite singer? Coco Lee. Can I use your laptop for a while? Sure, go ahead. Oh, isn't your computer Wi-Fi capable? Yes, it is. You want go online? There are no Wi-Fi hotspots around. Oh my, 
No internet access is killing me. Can't you wait till you get home? Then you can surf the internet using the broadband, wireless connection or whatever you like. No, I'm not feeling myself. I just want to check my emails, visit my favorite websites and chat with my friends. Now I see. You must be suffering from discomgugulation. What does that mean? There's nothing wrong with me. Well, the term, discomgugulation, comes from, discombobulate, and, Google. Because floods of information are just a mouse click away. Net users are very likely to become addicted to the web. That's alright. I just can't bear losing track of all the latest information. It almost drives me crazy. Then, you're probably addicted. Hi, Cindy. I thought I'd missed you. Oh, I am very sorry, Hans. Thank you for waiting for me. You must have been here a long time already. It's all right. I was caught in the heavy rain, or I would have come earlier. I am sorry I kept you waiting. I was in a comfortable place, so really, it's no problem. I am happy to see you. Did the rain hold you up long? Yes. When I came out of the subway, it was raining cats and dogs. And I forgot my umbrella. So I had to wait for the rain to let up. I totally understand. What did you say when she told you the news? I calmed up. And finally, I asked her to chew the cud for such an important decision. I could not have the heart to disappoint her with a blunt refusal. But I put my foot down and insisted on her forgetting that. How could have the heart to do that? She needs warmth and help. Everything is now. I'm kind of sick of it. Each ring has three small diamonds inside the band. Ew. One for each of the zeros in 2000. Wow. Stop making fun of me. So find a guy to marry and you can get one. I don't need a guy to buy a wedding ring. Oh, I see. You're going to wear one and pretend you're married to try to attract guys. Man, they take a lot of our paycheck. Yeah, the government really takes a bit, doesn't it? Seriously. The only tax I don't mind them taking is social security. It's only a few dollars every paycheck. Yeah, I don't mind it either. We'll both end up rich slobs and not need it. But what if we do, you know? Yeah, it won't be much, but at least we'll have a monthly check when we get old. Yeah, my grandmother gets by on social security and the money my grandfather invested when he was alive. Let's just hope the politicians don't figure out a way to spend it. Really? No, they couldn't. None of them would have jobs if they did. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.